Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of The Shadow of War. All right, when we left off, we had uh, just gotten done taking over this entire place, <laughs> and now we pretty much run the show around here. But for the time being, there's still some people I need to take care of, like Crosh, the unclean here. Uh, this is not the proper guy. This is one of his duplicates. I can get the buttons to work right. Thank you. That's not the guy either, but he's close. He is very close. No, he is, in fact, over here. No? Huh. None of these guys look like the right guy. That's odd. Huh. Maybe he's elsewhere. Oh. There goes my controller. Uh, here's hoping that the batteries are not dead, per se. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. There he is. He was at the top of the staircase, hiding. Of course he was. All right, well, if I remember right, these guys... Ooh, another guy popped up over there. Uh, these guys are clumsy and have a fear of brutality. So, let's check on this guy in the back real quick. He... Oh, he's Moog the Spike. Hi there, Moog. Been meaning to meet you. You actually look pretty good as a trickster goes. Immune to curse, enraged by betrayal, have a blood brother, and Arbeka the Mountain, who I think is on my side right now. Yes, I do recall he is on my side. So... Uh, he also has decoys, which do not seem to be activated right now. Uh, so, yeah. We will be going after Moog after we get Crosh dealt with. But, Crosh right now, his main strength is that he is poison-proof. And that is it. So, um, yeah. We'll see how he stacks up. Huh? We'll see how that goes. Alright, in this particular moment. There we go. And you're dead. Goodbye. And he's dazed. And all of his decoys just run away. Whoop. Hi there. Whoop. Okay, well, I have a feeling some of these guys are going to be angry at me. But they didn't attack me at all. That's nice. Okay, let's recruit him. His level's actually not that bad, considering. And we can train him up a little bit. That seems like a good idea. I swear my allegiance. Do you now? Well, uh, I would hope that you do. Let's, uh, let's look into what you can do. Alright, what you can do... Uh, see what you have now. You didn't gain anything from that level up, which is unfortunate, but oh well. The only weakness you have is the fear of brutality. That's the only fear, well, the only real fear, quote-unquote, I can really say that you have. So, considering that is the case, let's have you go up against... Reposition. No, I'm not going to reposition. Why would I do that? Let's see who he is. Poog Hot Tongs. He's not all that special, honestly. Not all that special there. And he has a lot of weaknesses, too, that I don't know if we'll eventually be trained out of him or not. So have you go after him confirm that mission there we go perfect all right now do my bidding all right and she's just ran off okay well <laughs> and he's just sitting there okay um i still kind of want to bring him on too <laughs> Just because. Alright, um. Let's see. 
Oh, and you're dead. You're going to be dead next soon. Come on now. Damn it. Seems like this one's running around. There we go. Well, you were the decoy for sure. And you are not. Okay. That is fair. Now I can go after you. Son of a bitch. Ow. Damn it. Come on. I mean, just fucking do something. Oh, yeah, about that. Uh, gonna make sure that you at least get frozen? Maybe. Why are you not freezing? All I'm trying to do is freeze you, man. Jeez. Uh, well, there we go. Now we did it. That works. Let's join with him. With the spike. Alright. Alright, not bad, considering. And he gained an additional immunity from that. He's now poison proof. Oh, uh, Moog, you are now my favorite. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to make you my new bodyguard. Considering I moved my former bodyguard to a war chief. Let's have you join me, huh? There we go. Perfect. Alright. Good shit. Well, hi there. Fuck you. You are mine. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Alright. And let's have you join too. Thank you. Alright. Good shit. Now, I came over here to do the main mission over here. That and that mission here. Uh, so, that's a thing. I wonder if this one will move me all that far. Because <laughs> I want to get back to the other mission after I do this. So, let's do the Witch King's Vision. The Nazgul are tracking you through Mordor using the power of the Palantir. Meet with Eltariel to face their threat. Alrighty then, let's do that. Alrighty. Have to groom the mustache. Give me a moment. <laughs> Mainly have to move it out of the way of my lips. That's a problem with the mustaches. And they never unsheathe their weapons. This looks like Eltario's work. Yeah, it does. Discriminate. By the look of it, some of these would have made good followers. Well, I mean... Before she eliminates all our potential recruits. Though if she did, we'd have little need of an army. That is true. That is true. I almost oopsie doodled there. I guess I gotta investigate the clue. Ah, it's one of these. Aha! Trail found. One would think if she's that good, she wouldn't have left a trail. Hmm, well, I mean, she might be still pretty good. She's quite a badass. She is quite the badass. She can kick my ass. And I guess it's not that hard to kick my ass. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh! You're already in the fight with the Nazgul, If you huh? were looking for ring wraiths, you're too late. But before I engaged him, he was speaking to an orc who was different than the others. Really? There are worms hmm. nearby. Perhaps they can tell us what is going on. Maybe. I'm alive. Yeah. You don't decide whom I let live, Ringmaker. You'd both do well to remember that. Well, um, at the same time, uh, I mean, I kind of need them. So if you could let me. I wasn't planning on killing them. Why would I want to kill them? Oh, oh, stealth dominate. An archer. Need to do that. Okay. Come on. Damn it, let me do the thing. It's not let me do anything. There we go. It's either that or I was doing it too quickly. That must have been what the problem was. I hope that's what the problem was. Otherwise, that made no damn sense. Okay, well. Uh, we did that. Let's go after this one over here. Whoop, whoop. 
Okay. Stealth dominate. I just I just want to do the thing. And stealth dominate. Thank you. Now I've done the thing. All right, let's interrogate a couple of worms, shall we? Since that's kind of required of us. Thank you for complying. The Nazgul have dealings with special orcs. What are they? Uh, they're called the Chosen. Uh, I don't know what they're chosen for. All right. Well, thank you for that info. They're chosen. They're chosen for something, but what? They're special, that's for sure. All right, let's get this guy. Hi there. What is the purpose of the Chosen? Secure the hide here. It's something to do with the sea and stone. That's all I know. Secure the hide here for the sea and stone? Okay. Whoops, got you. Got you. And got you. Goodbye. That went well, <laughs> considering. All right. Up we go. And we've got a guy over here. Hey, you're going to tell me things. Hi there. What have the idea revealed? Uh, only the Shriekers know that the Chosen kill anyone else who gets close. Shriekers know the Chosen defend them. Okay. That's... Unfortunate. Alright. Hey there, you seemed a little drunk. How about a little sobering up with the hat? No more grog. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, grog. Grog's done? Yeah? <laughs> Did I scare you with that enough? That grog's no longer on the menu? Yeah? No one cares what cream thinks. Okay. Well, that was a thing. I didn't expect to work. But hey, it went. So I'm not going to complain. Let's spin around and get this guy. What the fuck was that? The hell was that noise? Like, was that a spider getting squished? That's what it sounded like. Alright. Let's bring him over. Hey, buddy. How about you come over here? Got your boat. <laughs> uh, I just had to do that reference. Okay. And you're mine. The Chosen. Where do they come from? The Shriekers make them is some kind of ritual. All very secret. I don't know where. The Shriekers make them in a ritual. Oh, so the so Chosen... Which King has the Palantir. Any towers the Chosen hold will be his eyes. Then we just... must blind them. Good thing I've already done that. Alright, so. The Chosen are created by the Shriekers. And the Shriekers are thus defended by the Chosen. Okay. Whee! That was fun. Whee! Alright, and... Hi there! You're gonna tell me things. The ritual to create the Chosen. Where is it performed? No one knows. When a captain's selected, the Shriekers send a worm to tell him where to go. I see. So, captains are selected. No. This need not concern her. We have our mission and she has hers. Her mission is the destruction of the enemy that tracks us. The more information we share, the better. Yeah, yeah. Talion has a point. Talion has a very good point. If she is the one helping keep the Nazgul off of our asses, it's better off we share the info that we know. It's better off. In the long run. Hi there. You're mine now. <laughs> All right. Tariel is over here. There we go. He would have been good. Why'd you kill him? The Witch King is using the Hydea to track the ring. 
They extend of Palantir's reach. Orcs called the Chosen guard them. And the enemy may hold the Palantir, but the Hydea themselves are vulnerable. So, we know their design. And now we dismantle it. Although I already dismantled most of that, so I don't know what to do there, honestly. Maybe on other places, that's where that mission will continue. I'm not sure. Hard to tell. The three towers now available. Okay. I thought there was only two. This is news to me that there are three. Alright, that was a stupid joke. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. That was bad on all fronts. Alright. That was offensive to some people, I think. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, we gotta... It's all the way over there. And it starts me right here. Hey. I'll take it. The fighting pits are the perfect place to test the strength of our orcs. Indeed. Yeah. Let us hope we can get a seat. And a couple of our... Uh, a couple of our subscribers have been itching for an online pit fight, and apparently one of them have beaten... <laughs> one of you. One of you has beaten my war chief multiple times. Toker. Okay. The fight pits. Every fortress has a training ground, but there's nowhere better for an orc to hone his skills than the fight pits. And there's no one who knows more about the fight pits than Bruise. So this is the mission with him, I assume. I think. I don't know. Ah, the fight pits. You know, this is more than just a place to pop some orcs' heads off. Although that is uh, something I cannot recommend enough. I'm sure. The fight pits are where you can test your followers. See what happens when they have a go at some other geezer. All right. You're always bringing in tough orcs to fight. And if your fella survives, he'll be stronger for the experience. If he stops it, well, the one who done him in has what it takes. So there's a potential new recruit. And however Good point. it shakes out, your boys will love watching the show. Nothing boosts morale up like bodies going down. Man, you are so right on that. Not bad, Baga. Just one swipe. See? Wasn't that a good time? Grog was drunk, laughs were had, blood was shed, and Grog was drunk. <laughs> There's no fight like a pit fight. Uh, just... Uh, all the grog that could ever be drunk. Oh, we got gear from that as well. I forgot that you get gear from the dead ones. I forgot about that. Alright. Survival of the fittest. Now that you control the region, you can send your followers to fight in the pits. I almost fucked that up. <laughs> followers who survive will increase their level. To send a follower to fight an enemy orc, go to the fight pits. Each region has three fights of increasing difficulty, with victory and one unlocking the next. Victory in all three unlocks the Citadel upgrade for the region's fortress. You can also make two followers fight each other by commanding them from the army menu. In online pit fights, you can also have your overlord fight other players' overlords in the online fight pits. I've won one of those. <laughs> I've won one out of the four that have been done. <laughs> it's a bad record. Keep winning, and your overlord will become legendary. Lose, and you'll have to find a new overlord. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least in the online ones, uh, he doesn't die if he's defending. But if I send him on the offensive, that's when he'll die. <laughs> I'll just keep him on the defensive for now. I'll just keep him on the defensive. That's fine with me. Okay. And he won against a legendary, too. That's the weird part. <laughs> That's the funny part to me. Oh, we're unlocking regions. Oh. Oh, cool shit. Oh, the coolest of shit. But I still have missions to do here. I still have missions to do here. I'm just stay here for now. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, is it going to force me to go to the new one? Suragost? Uh, I hope it doesn't. I have things to do here. Also, there's this other thing here. Gorgoth. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. 
Alright, and then this one is... I can go back to Sirith Ungol now? Tugog of the Hand. Oh, I can go back. I could go back now. I wanna... I wanna do it. Can I go back? Oh, that's gonna be difficult. I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's not gonna wanna have me do that. <laughs> I have this very sinking suspicion. It's not gonna let me do that. Uh, but I wanna do things here. I have things I need to do. I have things I must do. Holy crap. Okay. Many Gondorians died during the fall of Minas Ethel, but some became prisoners of Sauron's forces. What the fuck? That's not what I told you to do. Okay. That's different. Kill the hunters of Saragost. I could do that. Ooh. I, I get rewards for those? What? Okay. Well, that's gonna make things weird. <laughs> That's gonna make things weird, because these challenges reward me in the gold coins, and then I can't prove that I never bought anything that way. Oh no. <laughs> but they're useful! Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make a promise. I'm going to make a promise to all of you now. The only way I earn coins is through these challenges. I'm not going to touch any of the marketplace for buying these coins. The only way I'm going to earn these coins is by doing these challenges. I promise you that. Because I do feel that they give an unfair and unnecessary advantage in trying to complete the game. That, that was one of the main problems with when they were reviewing the game, is that when you were trying to do it quickly, you kind of needed to spend the money. But you don't need to spend the money. You absolutely do not need to spend the money to complete the game quickly. You just need to grind it out, and that takes a lot of fucking time. It's an RPG for a reason. You have to grind it out, and it takes a long-ass time to do that. But, that said, I understand why there was a lot of hate for that. In a single-player game, for a marketplace to be installed is a bit unnecessary. It's a bit outlandish. But, I can see where they thought it might have been a good idea for the people who just want to get in there, get the story done, and had buckets of money to throw away at it. So, you know, at the same time, I understand. It's, it's easier to give the option than to not have the option at all. But, I will not be using it personally. I... I'm saying it right here and right now. I will not be using the marketplace to buy coins to then use them in the marketplace. If I have any coins at all, it is from these challenges. And from these challenges only. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of my <laughs> got that out of my head and out of the way. Now I'll do these. <laughs> Some of these. Uh, we got the Drake Hunter of Nernin, Marksman's conquest oh it's during an online conquest okay so i'd have to do it during that all right that's fair and then there's this as well yeah okay okay <laughs> now it's telling me about this new stuff Yeesh. and it's telling me this now <laughs> okay 
A new orc faction, the Outlaw Tribe, is rampaging across Mordor in a bid for absolute supremacy. Tribal warbands are led by epic and legendary orcs. You can dominate and recruit these powerful enemies to bolster your own ranks, or kill them to gain high-quality gear. Killing a legendary orc grants you a piece of the Outlaw Legendary set. No, you don't say. Go to the Tribal Warband missions to contain and crush the forces of the Outlaw Tribe. And here's the one for slaughter. <laughs> Carving its way across Mordor, butchering everything in its path. Alright, fair enough. Let's go to that Rohirrim cloak and break it down, because I don't need that at all. Also, this is a new UI thing that popped up when I got into the game. I This is all new. This is all new to me. They changed some of the uh, iconography, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. They even have the uh, set symbol behind the item. Uh, description. They have it right next to the item icon itself. And they also have the little uh, upgrade da, 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 da. symbol. They have a little upgrade symbol for what level in the upgrade tree it is currently at. For the legendaries, they have three upgrades that they can do. And for some of the other items, they only have one. So, it'll show you that as well. That's actually pretty nice. That's I wouldn't say necessary, but it's nice. It is very nice to have. Now, um, that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I really have <laughs> to say and do. Um, wow. <laughs> so many missions popped up now. Oh, boy. One time reward of a skill point. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. Just fucking do that, man. <laughs> if I get a skill point for it, all the more good can come of it. Alright. Online fight pits. Not an online, what? No. I didn't want to do that. There it is. Okay, I'm stupid. I already know how the fight pits work. God damn it. Game, stop telling me things I know. Alright. I had it marked, and I still went to the wrong fucking one. I'm an idiot. There we go. Fight Pits. Maggots. Send your follower into the Fight Pits to win power and glory if he survives. Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. Look at that face. A feral marksman. That is definitely quite a helmet. Look at that. Man, oh man. He's terrified of Karagors. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not going to be good for you. And he's terrified of stealth. He's also clumsy, flammable, vulnerable to stealth, and beast fodder. Well, then. Oh, he has sniper shot. Can fire upon enemies from great distances and never misses. That's actually a useful skill to have. Although, I don't know if you're going to survive this fight. <laughs> to be honest. Let's select a follower, huh? Uh... He... no... Mm. Let's throw in Zothra. Let's see how Zothra plays out, huh? I hope he dug a grave already. I forgot he had Karagors with him. <laughs> and he's terrified as shit now. <laughs> I completely forgot he has Karagors with him now. That's actually useful as shit. And he's dead. <laughs> that was quick. That was quick and easy. Good on you, Zothra. That was good. Thank you for the skill point. Earning. For me. <laughs> okay. Let's use that skill point, shall we? Put it into what, though, is the question. Hmm. I don't know. We've, we've pretty much unlocked a lot of the abilities already. At this point, it's just trying to fill out the uh, abilities that I could possibly need in a given situation. So... 
go with shadow mounting. Yeah, that one's that one's kind of useful, but not useful enough. A Karagor Breaker would be very useful in almost all situations. So, there we go. We'll do that. Yay! We have that ability now. So, got Fight Pits Warriors. Got... Wait, one-time reward. What? <laughs> Didn't we already just do this? Wouldn't... Wouldn't we already have had the reward? So, I'm a little confused now. Let's just do it again. We got a mortally flammable Beastmaster, Tuka the Cutthroat. Hmm. He does look pretty cool. He does have a decent set of abilities. And he's immune to execution. Hmm. Let's let's see how he squares up against one of ours. Shag the filthy, maybe. Yeah, let's see how Shag the filthy stacks up against him, huh? And if it doesn't work out, new recruit. You won't beat me. Well, we'll find out. Let the ripping of flesh begin again. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Well, oh, this this looks like it's not going well. Oh, oh, oh! Got some good damage going. Got some great damage going on him, and he's evading all of his attacks to boot. Just also nice. Ooh, ooh! He is hurting. He is hurting bad from that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Karagor is not helping matters. Karagor is actually being a liability against him. But, I mean, he's already done quite a bit of damage against him as it stands. Oh, jeez. Those Karagors keep exploiting openings in his backside. Speaking of which, he's kind of left his back open. Oh, never mind. He's got it handled. But he got a little hit there. So now they're at neck and neck health. Oh, and the edge is returned. All right. And death. And there goes his midsection. Shag the Filthy wins. Not bad. Not bad. Well, we got new armor. <laughs> new armor, new other things. Ranger's armor. What? What? Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Well... That was fun to uh, indulge in a little bit. Got also one of these that is absolutely worthless. Break that down. Okay, cool. But yeah, that is actually kind of fun. Faux hammer, I already broke that down. All right. Now we have a whole open endeavor for us to explore. A whole bunch of things for us to get into. Online vendettas, you know, new missions with tribal bands of slaughter and outlaw and all of the good stuff that comes with that yeah i think i think we're gonna have fun now <laughs> i think we're gonna have a lot of fun but uh we'll have to end the episode here for right now because i don't have that much time <laughs> and our, i'm already over time as it stands all right Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments if we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and beating the shit out of orcs in the fight pits with my guys. Because that's how that works. And now we've opened up a whole bunch of missions. <laughs> and areas that we can explore later for you.